Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so so far we have a way to add and remove lecturers, which is awesome. But we need to extend this functionality to students as well. So we can simply copy the code from one section to another. Let me go to my text editor here. Let me close the active files and open the single class.php controller. So all we need to do is copy all this code, repeat it, and use it for a different if statement. Now we only have one problem here. There's way too much code in this one function. The idea of creating functions like this is so we can separate this code per activity, we add each activity into a separate function. So before we copy everything over, it's better we do that because otherwise we're going to have to duplicate this code and then it's just going to make the whole thing a little bit more messy and we don't want that. So what I will do is create another function down there so that we can uh, we can use that instead. So how exactly do we separate those two? Well, in the URL here, keep in mind that if we add the name of a function that exists here, it's going to switch to that function. Right now, this uh, string here, there's no function with this string name, and that's why it defaults to the index function but we can tell it to access a different function if we, set, uh, if we type something that actually exists in here. So for now, for example, let's say when we want to add a lecture, right? If I click add new, it brings me to this, but you see the URL hasn't changed much. What has changed here is the, this query string here, the get tab is equal to lecturer add. So we can mimic that lecturer add, but we add it right here instead. So right now, if I just change this to lecturer, let's, uh, let me just type it in the lecturer add slash like this and press enter. You see that instead it tells me that that class was not found. That's because it's trying to read a class with lecturer add as the param in there or as the class ID. However, if I create a function and say function lecturer add like this, things will change. Now I'm naming it as lecturer add instead of add lecturer so that it's easier to see which functions belong to or have to deal with the lecturer because it's going to start with lecturer it makes it easier to find the code later on. So we're going to have lecturer add, lecturer remove, instead of add lecturer or remove lecturer because the beginning will be different. It's easier when the beginning is the same. So both functions will have lecturer at the start. It's easier to find them. And then in here, I still need that ID of the class. So that's the class ID in there. Uh, we're trying to keep this whole thing similar. And then I want to, we don't need the second code here. I want to copy all this because this is going to work pretty much uh, the same way. All of this actually work the same way up to where we go to page tab here, right? Let's copy everything even up to result here. I'll copy all that and bring it here. Now we are trading uh, repeating our code like this for us to make it easier next time to fix our code. Because if we know that the problem is in the lecturer add system, we can simply come to this function and we'll deal with it. Because the way it is right now like this, it's very complicated. It takes a while to reorient yourself and see what's really going on. So once we are here, uh, let me save this. Since I've created this function now, it's going to find it here. So if I now refresh my page, 
like this. You see that now I get an empty page, which means it has found that and there's no view associated with that. So what we will do is repeat the same view here. So let's see, do we have a row here? We do have a row. That's okay. So I'm going to copy everything here, copy that and repeat it down here. So the only thing that we change is what we do in the middle between this and that. Otherwise, everything else remains the same. So I'm going to refresh the page. And there we go. So you see now we have add lecturer here. Now it is working like that because we have tab page tab here, which is checking for that get variable. Now this is where we change things instead of asking ta a page tab to uh, get from this, we're just going to know because we're already in lecturer add, we're just going to write it directly here that this is lecturer add like this. This way we get the correct value, the correct tab here when we refresh the page. You see nothing has changed. Uh, if I now put, let's say, a 2 there just to mess with this, you will see that uh, things don't work out because it doesn't know what tab we are on at this point. See that? We click there. Now, the only thing I need to do is to change when I click here so that it corresponds with what I want. So let me just remove that. So if I now go to my, um, where is this, single class view, right? So I go to these tabs right here, and this is the URL to the tabs, but I want the URL to the tab for adding stuff. So where is that? This is in the class tab lecturers. So class tab lecturers, where are we? There we go. And right here where it says add and remove, right? The difference between the two was that we had a tab lecturer remove, and then select is equal to true. So we will leave the select is equal to true, but we remove this. So instead of lecturer remove here, or lecturer add, let me start with that. I'm going to copy this. And right before this ID, I will add that here. Just make it one word because that's the function name and then do a slash. I'll do the same for lecturer remove. So I'll copy this and put it there and a slash like this. So we haven't created this function yet, but this is the format we'll follow. And then I will remove all of this here so that I only have select is equal to true as a query string. Same thing here like that. Okay, so let's give it a test run. So now we don't have the query string in here. If I just click add, it still comes to this because we still get that which corresponds to the correct thing here. Everything seems good here. And if we come back, everything works here. But let's see if we try to do something and see if things will work. So as you can see, the functionality is not here. So in order to bring back the functionality here, we have to copy the code that is here. So the code is over here. So I'm going to copy all of this if statement here up to, let's see, page tab is lecturers. Okay. So I'm going to copy all of this here. In fact, let me cut it out of here. Cut like this. So this reduces the code that we have in the original thing here. So I'm going to come down here and right in the middle of this, I will paste. And of course, remove the ending else statement down there like this. Okay, okay. So now we really don't need these if statements here uh, okay, because we have the add and we have the remove, so we will have to separate these into separate functions as well so that we reduce the code even further. Okay, so let's come back here and see if this actually works. So if I now search, we will find our user. 
So as you can see, everything works as predicted. So let's try add uh, lecturer. Let's uh, try and remove this lecturer here. So remove. Okay, so the remove doesn't work just yet. And that's because we haven't copied the code over here. So we'll need to separate that as well even further. So let's create a final function down here and copy everything that is on the other side. So I'm just going to copy. In fact, let me simply duplicate the whole thing like this. Okay. And then let's come here and say lecturer remove because the code is pretty much the same. And then here I will change this to remove like that. So here we know this is always going to be lecture remove. So we don't need an if statement to check for that. So we don't need to check for add or remove. So I'm going to remove all this. All we need to check for is if something was posted. Okay. So that is great. And let's do the same for this other one on top, which is the add. So I'm going to remove that part like that so that now we just check if something was posted. All right. OK, so in here on the add, we need this section which says that lecturer already belongs to this class. But if we are removing the lecturer, we don't need this section here. So we can remove all of this because this is only working if we are removing a lecturer, which we are not doing here. So I'm going to remove all that up to the else statement there. So out like so. OK, so if lecturer add, that's our if statement right there. All this should happen. But because we are always going to be lecturer add, so we don't need the if statement here either. And then let's move everything backward, squeeze things up a bit like so. Okay, so that's good. So here for the search and for the adding. So we can do exactly the same thing to the lecturer remove function. So let's remove everything that has to do with the adding part. So the search is the same, so we'll leave that as it is. But then here it's add lecturer, right? So if lecturer add, this is it. So we're going to remove the top part instead, like so. Okay. And now we have the if lecturer remove. So this is an if, uh, if statement which doesn't hold any water because we know in this one we'll always be on lecturer remove. So delete that if statement as well. And let's move things up like this. OK, so let's come back. Yes. So the reason we've done this is to separate each functionality into a separate function. And that way, when we have a problem, we know exactly which function to go to. All right. Now, it's a good practice to add public on all of these functions just to be explicit about it. Oh. And instead of private, it's public function. So let's do that even on the index. Public functions. Public function, yes. Okay, so this is good. Hopefully we can trim down the code even more. But for now, this looks great. Let me come back here and give it a test run. So let's remove this user and let's type select and there we go let's add again just to make sure that we haven't lost anything here click search and select and we are back to normal so everything is working fine here we just now need to shift all this to the student section here all right so i'll see you in the next video